Seduction is an art form. Most guys that try to seduce women end up failing in their efforts because they just don't know where to start. The truth is, if you want to learn how to seduce a girl, you need to not only treat her right, but you also have to focus on her mind, rather than her body. How to seduce a girl, the key things you need to know. 1. Know that all girls are different. You won't be able to use the same techniques on each girl. Why? Because not every girl is the same, this is something you really need to understand. Once you get that, you'll talk to each girl in a different way, rather than lumping all of them as one type of personality. Men are not all the same, right? And, neither are women. 2. Focus on seducing her mind first. Women are mental and emotional beings. When we have an orgasm, it's highly linked to our mental state. So, for us, sex is not simply sex, it's also mental. The same goes for seduction. If you want to know how to seduce a girl, it won't work by sending a dick pic, you need to stimulate her mind. Talk about something interesting, use visual language to get her to use her imagination. In the link I put in the description of this video, you can learn 3 tips for using the body language to get the girls you really want, to start fantasizing about you. 3. Girls love to laugh. Most girls do have one thing in common, we want someone who makes us laugh. Makes sense though, right? But make sure you're not trying too hard to make her laugh, it has to be natural. It's also true that your humor may not match with hers and that's. Okay. There will be another girl who will laugh at your jokes, trust us. 4. Don't make it obvious that you're trying to seduce her. No one wants to know they're being seduced. It ruins the fun for the both of you. Think of this as a challenge for you and her. If you tell her, I'm going to seduce you, what does that do? Not a lot. Keep a little mystery and enjoy the experience. 5. Hold back from making a move. We know you want to kiss her, but don't. You need to build up the sexual tension and nothing works better than not giving her what she wants. It will drive her crazy that you didn't make a move on her, which is the goal. So, take it slow because a little frustration is a good thing. 6. Show your natural confidence. Learning how to seduce a girl never works if you walk into a room looking insecure. You need to look like you own the place. But this is the thing, you need to actually feel it. If you're not confident, well, fake it till you make it. It's the only way. However, do remember that being too confident can also backfire. Just believe in and be yourself. 7. Look at her face, not her boobs. Come on guys, this is the most important thing you shouldn't do. Keep your eyes up. We know you want to look down, but you want to seduce her, so don't look at her. Like she's just a pair of boobs. Keep your eyes up, engage in conversation and show interest on an intellectual level. Have a little respect. 8. Figure out what she wants. You need to think about what she wants. Is she looking for a one-night stand or a relationship? See what she wants. Now, you don't have to ask her directly, but through indirect questions, try to figure out what she's into. That way, you know how to approach her. 9. Don't make it look like you want to sleep with her. If you're talking to her, you want to take things further. We know that. You know that. We all know that. But this doesn't mean you look at her like a piece of meat. As girls, we know the look when someone just wants to take us to bed versus someone who's actually interested. Sure, if we like the guy, we're into it, but we also just see that they want sex and nothing more. This is where we start thinking and debating whether or not we should continue talking to you. 10. Keep lame pickup lines to a minimum. Oh no, please. If you don't have to use them at all, then don't. Not sure then what to say to a girl? Just introduce yourself to her. If she's into you, she'll talk. Using some did you fall from heaven line is lame and really makes the panties dry. Trust us. 11. Create a subtly romantic atmosphere. It doesn't matter where you are, whether it's the club or a cafe, you're in charge of making the atmosphere between you romantic. This means you need to use your body language to convey interest, sit close to her, look her in the eye, laugh, smile. Make her feel warm and wanted. Don't overdo it, but subtly romantic is what you're going for. 12. Selectively choose where to touch her. Don't be too hands-on with her, otherwise you're going to come on too strong. What you need to do is touch her, but in places where it's neither too sexual or too passive. You can touch her lower back, for instance. But, do not touch her ass. You're more likely to get a slap than returned interest. You can touch her shoulders, her arms, her knee. But, read her carefully, if she flinches, moves away, or seems uncomfortable, stop. 13. Don't use the help of your friends. Seriously, you're not a kid anymore. You can use a wingman in the beginning, 
but you should really be trying to do this without the help of your friends. When you get to the point where you seduce a girl without having a friend to act as a wingman, that's when you've made it. Friends can be helpful, but the real challenge is doing it on your own. In the link I put in the description of this video, you can learn how to turn her on and get her out with just three simple texts. 14. Always remember to be yourself. This is really important, you have to be yourself. We've seen so many guys try to seduce a woman, but they fail because they're trying to be someone else. Why try to be someone else? We know that other guys look like they always get girls, but that's because they're who they are. Seduction shouldn't change who you are as a person, only enhance the features that you have. 15. Take it slow. Remember, when it comes to seduction you are not in a race. If a woman feels pressured or pushed into anything, it will have the opposite effect. She needs to feel respected, cared for, and comfortable at all times. Slow down, you're not aiming for a medal here. 16. Look the part. If you dress well, not only do you impress her, but you feel more confident in yourself too. Make sure you pick out an outfit appropriate for the occasion, dress smartly, and don't choose anything too loud or garish. You want to look sophisticated and manly, but also at ease with yourself too. If you dress too loud, you're just going to scare the poor girl off. Also, no matter how fantastic your outfit, if you haven't bothered to shower, do your hair, and spray a bit of nice cologne on before you leave the house. She isn't going to be massively impressed. 17. Listen to her. There is a difference between being confident and completely dominating the conversation. If you want her to feel relaxed and comfortable like she's getting to know you better, it is important for the conversation to be two-way. Listen to what she has to say and show you're actually listening too. 18. Ask questions, but not too many. Make sure you ask her lots of questions too. This shows her that you are interested in her and actually want to get to know her as a person, rather than just get her straight into the bedroom. The more secure and comfortable a woman feels, the more likely she is to want to take things to the next level. But, don't fire questions at her like she's in an interview. That will have the total opposite effect. 19. Be attentive to her needs. If her wine glass is empty, make sure you fill it up. If she looks cold, offer her your jacket. Paying attention to the little things here and there makes all the difference. Plus, she'll think you are super sweet and romantic, as well as feeling like you are the kind of guy who knows how to take care of a woman. 20. Compliment her. Make sure she knows just how attractive you find her. Giving a woman compliments is all about the timing. Make sure you wait for a break in conversation or hold her gaze and say something like, sorry, I just can't get over how pretty you are. The key to compliments is making sure they are not too intense, but also direct enough so that she knows you are really attracted to her at the same time. 21. Move a little into her personal space. When it comes to making a move, if you are at dinner or out for drinks, move your chair closer to hers or brush her hand across the table or her leg underneath it, but as we mentioned before, watch how she reacts. You could suggest going dancing where you have opportunities to touch her, or for a walk where you take her hand. If you have a date at home, suggest you get more comfortable on your sofa and then sit closer to her. 22. Remember, don't force anything. Sometimes, regardless of whether you do all the right things, the chemistry just isn't there. If you aren't getting good vibes back from her then don't try to force anything. Cut your losses and accept that you can't win them all. In the link I put in the description of this video, you can learn 3 tips for using the body language to get the girls you really want, to start fantasizing about you. Including. A technique to make her crave your touch. A technique for getting her to think about kissing you. You can access the link I put in the description to watch my video now. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel.